This week's episode of the Deck Turn Yums podcast is brought to you by Heart of Hearing. What happened? Kevin Hart played Lowry's. I didn't hear that. Play the fucking intro. <laughs> yeah, what's up, motherfucker? Yeah, what's up, motherfuckers? You're all very welcome back to another episode of the Deck Turn Yums podcast. I would like to apologize from the start about mm-hmm. how fucking bad I sound because I'll tell you what happened, Connor. I had a big wick the week of my birthday. I sure took a wild load all. of pints. Sure, we all had a big week. And then, sure, it was Paddy's wick. Oh, sure. I took a wild load of pints. Keep a pints. Now, I'll say this the psoriasis isn't as bad as it was, <laughs> but I did sit outside smoking fags for two days and I am dosed with the cold. It's not COVID. Don't panic. I've done my tests. I've took my vitamin D. Mm-hmm. I know the crack, but I swear to fuck, at this very moment, I would suck someone's dick for a packet of tunes or a locket or something. Fuck, I have some lozenges here in my pocket, actually. <laughs> I, I thought that was you, Willie. <laughs> I uh, thought yes. that boy's got a pack of lockets in his pocket or he's happy to see me. It's just, uh... <laughs> yes, you're all very welcome back. It's been a big week. It's been a big week. It's been a bit, it's been a uh, bit, a bit of a week. If you're listening to this on uh, Spotify or anywhere else, obviously it's, it was a week, two weeks ago. A week ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, jump on the Patreon, you know yourself. Yeah. Fucking, I'm so lazy. it's a pound a month, like. Uh, a week. A pound a week? Aye. It's a pound a week? Well, if you go for the... Oh, it's not worth it. Four <laughs> uh, it's four pound, yeah, so... <laughs> Four pound to hear this fresh. I know. I fucking sound like shit. Here I texted these this morning, like lads, can we not do this? Because I've got the cold. I just remember pre pandemic. I thought it was another fucking. Oh, here we go. Bar this song over. Again. No, remember pre pandemic? We just go to work sick. Yeah. And now it's like I can't leave the house in case I fucking kill somebody. <laughs> Even my girlfriend last night was like, you've got COVID. And I'm like, no, I don't. She went, how do you know? And I went, well, one, I took a test. And two, I had COVID. And it was way worse than this. Yeah. You it's stupid a, fuck. It's a sniffle. You stupid fuck, you. Well, uh, so let's go. Listen, it's been a long week, right? So we'll go back to the beginning. Let's start at the start. Let's start on Sunday, the Lord's Day. I did so, nothing. Well, no, it was Monday, the, the day after the Lord's Day. <laughs> Monday, the, the day after, or the night of the last recording of the podcast, we decided then to have a wee, a wee match up. Now, no, that was two weeks ago. See, Connor's on rest right today, so you've had no, a bit of memory no, no, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't two weeks ago. It was, it was week. because podcast wise, it wasn't. Oh, po- well, sure, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's out two weeks from now, does it? This is where, well, this well, is where this is like the multiverse of fucking it's podcast. Not a, no, it's not. It's it's, it's what, what I mean is like fuck up. You could have just pretended it was a week ago because we didn't talk about it last week. Oh, do not. <laughs> See, last week, right? <laughs> Show me. Me and me and Connor. Uh, what would we do? <laughs> I, I just think after Take all it this, away, boys. after all this time we never we've never played FIFA together on online well, and, yeah. uh, and for a man for men of our age I was never so fucking excited in my life <laughs> I finally I was like had the flat on oh, my beanbag nobody there are we on the beanbag <coughs> we fucking right us on the beanbag oh fucking know what uh, my dressing gown her yeah. Addy that short so it feels sporty first of all I got the message have you got your headphones plugged in and I was like no I can't do it with headphones. So if you've if you've ever played FIFA online, uh, and if you haven't, you'll know or you won't know that you can hear the other person on the other side. Yeah. So I can hear you. You can hear I, me through I, the TV. A little bit through the TV, but not much. But every so often, if I scored, I could hear the wee mumbles of "Oh, sir," <laughs> and then my WhatsApp would go with you had recorded a voice message going "Oh, sir." <laughs> Man, I um I sometimes play Call of Duty without the headphones, right? And you can just hear people. I might have told this before. You can just hear people being really bad parents through your TV. <laughs> So I'll be in the middle of the day, just like, I'm going to play a wee bit of Call of Duty. And I'll just hear, fucking die, you cunt, die, cunt, fucking die, fucking die, you bastard. And then you hear a voice being like, Daddy, can I have some juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Jeremy Kyle, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, so it's we, not, we had a pretty, we, we we had a pretty were, tight, kind of well matched. You, what, was, a good you series, won, I would say, yeah. yeah, a couple of, what, three games? And we, three games, there, you won one of them. The rest, two draws. Two draws. Mm. Did I tell you what happened shortly after um, we played? You did, yes, and uh, that was... I played Aaron Butler. Yes, Butler. right. Because I went, I said I had to go to bed, and you were yeah. like, you put up in the group, and everybody want to play FIFA, and Arn Butler stepped up. Now, <laughs> I, I'm putting it down to the fact that he was playing on the PS5 and I was playing on the PS4. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But Arn Butler, Arn Butler beat me ten two, and I was like, how the fuck, how how can I have gone from drawn with you? And he was like, I hardly even fucking play FIFA, mate. I don't even like. That's not even good Arn Butler. That's no, not even Arn Butler. No. Hee hee. <laughs> I don't play this shit. Come here, bubbles. <laughs> uh, how do you do a good Arn Butler impression? I could do other. I can I? Well, there's impressions I can't oh. do as other comedians. Mm. That's a hard one. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, he beat me ten two, and I'm convinced, and he denies it. But no, I do sorry, remember. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry, but sorry, I remember. Sorry, reading, no, sorry. I do remember reading somewhere that is that misinformation. Because first of all, he beat you nine nil, and then it was ten two. Nine nil, then ten two. And do you know, do you know how bad it was in the ten two <laughs> one when I scored? I went, "Don't let me win." <laughs> I didn't want sympathy. Uh, 
But um, so that was I, Aaron but Butler completely no, but listen, stroked no, but, off my I, list. But I mean, I don't, and what? I'm a better rider than him. Do you know what oh, I mean? absolutely. I agree. Probably not. Actually, you've seen his hips. That boy, I guarantee you, he could fucking shift. spin circles, spin a woman around his dick like a Catherine wheel. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I read somewhere that depending on what your what system you're playing with, uh-huh. um, if you're playing with somebody against somebody who's like got a better operating system, it's easier for them. Right. right? Okay. For example, if you're playing Call of Duty and there's someone who's playing Call of Duty on a PC, mm-hmm. you gonna get your fucking ass handed to your son. Right. Okay. I could hang about with Kevin Hart three minutes and talking all the fucking mm. gangster. Like um, very from the street there. So I from the stitch side. Uh, from the big street. So we got absolutely. Would you want to play the night again then? Aye, I'll put there with you, no worries. I'll be there. I'll get a wee sleeping bag around me and get a couple of beachums in them and be all right. Let's go. <laughs> so, yes, we, we discovered, so we, I discovered FIFA my FIFA too. soulmate because it's not often I get to play something because I am shite. I don't I'm mean terrible that respect. Like, no, I am absolutely terrible. We're on the like, same level. We're very I did mediocre. Kieran Bartlett's podcast. The, the problem for me is with FIFA, I like it when it's like me against you when it's still close. You yes, know, that's what I mean. It's challenging. Yeah. Once somebody goes 3 0 up, I'm like, well, let's just turn ah, it off. Let's turn it off. If you were outside a pub and fucking Mike Tyson punched you, you wouldn't go, I fancy my chances here. Oh, let's give it a go. You go, yeah. I, take, I see your point. Yeah, you go see I understand, mate. point proven. Do you want a pint? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm the worst out of the four. Mike Luck Pigeon. Out of my three brothers, or four of us, I'm the worst. And uh, yeah, well, maybe not the worst. I'd love a good boxing game or something, though, for, for the PS4. Uh, was there not one out? No. No, there used to be one called Fight Night for like the PS3. Right, okay. And it was the shit. Very mm-hmm. easy to play, very not. It wasn't you, that it was dead, probably, you just felt like a good boxer when you played it. Well, you'd probably prefer a VR boxing game because of your skills, like. Well, I sure have lost the skills now because of psoriasis, man. Oh, Do you mean? Fucking Float like a butterfly, everything. peel like an orange. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Float like a butterfly, shed like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fighting name now. Man. Foliage. <laughs> Mickey the Snake Bartlett. Right. Fucking hell, man. It's disgusting. It's lovely, but. I'm sure, like, I'm sure it's lovely to experience it. It's, no, it. Do you know what happened, right? This is, I'm going to get in trouble with this when I get home, right? My girlfriend goes to me the other day, she was like, um, you're, like you're getting awful lazy, you know? You're just, and I was like, what do you mean? She's like, well, you used to, like, this place used to be so clean, and you don't really clean your flat anymore, and, like, you used to make me wee cups of tea all the time. And I went, do me a favour, go you make me a cup of tea, but don't use your fucking hands. See how far you get, you North Coast fuck. <laughs> Trying to carry fucking tea about my mouth, who you going to? <laughs> Oh, the bee. My spirit animals now the T Rex, like. So I'm just. <laughs> can't touch she anything. I wouldn't even make you a cup of tea. Oh, she does. She's in fairness, her. Maybe I'll get up and make me a cup of tea, or I'll fucking not punch or kick you anyway. <laughs> I'll help you all over this place. I, I'll fuck me. If I, could, if I even knew you had a throw decent headbutt, I wouldn't do it because I'm a feminist and I don't believe in women. Uh, <coughs> oh. Fucking hell! That's, I by the way, I haven't smoked in four days. I'm back off them again. All right, and I'm not fucking drinking booze anymore. Oh fuck! Here we go. Oh. I've been drinking smoothies and all. I know my hands. Remember my hands last week at the work gloves. Now I don't because I've been drinking all fucking smoothies and taking turmeric and fucking. I wanted a good dad, da- and then I got the cold. So I'm probably also not drinking. No, I drank on Friday like oh. skinful and Saturday. And s- I didn't drink Saturday. Oh, yeah, I drink no, I didn't drink Saturday. Saturday. Oh, okay. I couldn't. It was fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was in tatters because I drank. We should, we should, well, we should get, we'll get to, we'll get to the whole thing. So after FIFA, then we like my fucking chest is, it's, you're grand. It's like, I feel like you sound a, like me, basically. <laughs> Every listener, listen, listen. Oh, knows. go back on the fags, the keys, wees. We've been off on three at the keys, wees. <laughs> Uh, um, so yes, we, and then we because there was there was the booking for Lavrice because you were doing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in Lavrice. Yeah, Paddy's I was also in Letterkenny on Tuesday. Yes, Letterkenny on Tuesday. So what was the crack there. Now, mad props to Ronan Boyle mm-hmm. for running a lovely wee gig. Great crowd. Mad props to Jack and James for coming up. Mad props to Ian McElwee, Fenton and Harvey. Great lineup. The mad props thing is still uh, mad props. Mad, mad props. Mad yeah, props. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I will say is not mad props. To whoever actually was running the gig and didn't have a fucking light on the stage. Oh, jeez. So there was one Christ. spotlight that went up like that that made it look like you were telling jokes <laughs> as a ghost story. <laughs> like you're filling Oh, like, my God. But here, it is our, the, our podcast more popular than I thought. Is that right? Because I haven't been to Letterkenny in a long, long time. Uh-huh. Brought it up and the whole place was like, you. And as I was doing some of the material, you could see people looking at each other like, he's told this one on the podcast. I, this is true. <laughs> this is true. He does have sir ass. He never fucks up, but <laughs> If they had better lighting, it would see you had it. I, <laughs> Maybe it suited you actually to have that low lighting. That was a good thing because it was really, really bad. Like, remember, I was wearing the wee gloves in the last podcast. That's right. 
and I got the letter candy, took and mo- all the moisturizers and stuff kicked in, but the skin that was falling off my hands, disgusting. Oh. And I know this is gross, I know it grosses people out, but I can't do anything about it. And all I could do was laugh, because at one point I went, James, and pointed at my feet, and it was like a circle <laughs> of my DNA. Like a crime scene. <laughs> like a chalk outline. Swear to God, man. <laughs> yeah. Like <a> ch- <laughs> <laughs> <Just you> like, <coughs> mic in hand absolutely like, <laughs> it's fucking uh, terrible fuck. um, but now here's a serious like somebody kicked here's, a coconut here's a serious thing to talk about because you would always say and we talked about this last week about your food um, choices weird choices <laughs> is that you would get you would be very easily grossed out of things but now that you have Something that you're saying to people, oh, no, this grosses some people out. Yeah. So do you then have a better tolerance if you see something that grosses you? No. no. You don't give Absolutely a fuck. It's you like, don't understand it for that person who maybe has... It's like, I think it's kind of thing. Yeah, if I saw somebody who had psoriasis... Oh, so only psoriasis. I, I wouldn't be grossed out. But, right, okay. But if I saw somebody who was, like, fucking shitting and bulking, uh-huh. I'd be like... Brr. Right, okay. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I know. I, I, mean, but I, 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 like I, I have more. I have more empathy. Is right, what I'm saying. Right. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's I, what I, mean, I still yeah. vomit. But I'm like, <laughs> put oh, more, that's a nightmare. Just, a, just a, a mini vomit. Yeah. In, like in I'll go. Oh my god, a Belfast Giants fan. <laughs> but, but I, I, I'm like, oh, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You're a Belfast Giants fan, is it? What that's like, <laughs> a fucking wanker. What a wanker. I will let it go. I will. One day. Like. Oh my god. Uh but yes, great gig, letter kind, good crack, all new material. Uh, nice, nice, nice. But yes. forty minutes of new stuff sitting there, fucking ready. Deadly. To go. So, uh, and then Wednesday was Lavery's. Yes, it was you and Paddy and Shane? Was it? I'm trying to remember who was on. It's me, Paddy, Shane, and Geddes. Uh-huh. And then Thursday, mm-hmm. right? So this is the conversation happened in my house, right? <laughs> Obviously, after last week, I was in bits. And I'm like, right, I need to start. I need to fucking change this up. I had an appointment with a uh, nutritionist, right? Okay. So this woman's like, right, here's supplements you need to be taking. You need to be eating this stuff. Avoid this stuff. Don't be drinking. Don't be smoking. Mm-hmm. Try and get all this stuff out of the way. And I was like, right, cool. So, excuse me. Uh, I went, right, it's Paddy's Day on Thursday. I've yes. had a massive week because of my birthday. I, do, I went, I don't mind missing Paddy's Day, to be honest with you, because there's a gig on Friday night. Uh-huh. I was on the lineup for it. But I thought to myself, I'd better be professional. Yes, and of I'm not. Uh, I'm not even going out Paddy's Day. Ooh. I'll just take it easy, right? right? And everybody I was supposed to go out with was like, see if you don't fucking go out on Paddy's Day. <laughs> and I'd never felt like a Protestant before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't like it. Uh, no, I had more morals. My teeth instantly got better. <laughs> my house was nicer. There was more uh, money about you. Yeah, I ended up wearing a, just wearing a, uh, like a, a polo shirt and a jumper round my neck. Your tray bags were amazing. Tray bags were fantastic. Yeah, make a class <laughs> cup of tea now. A class cup of tea. I like tabernade. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. <laughs> so I went out at one o'clock on Paddy's in Belfast. By the way, we forgot about our wee sneaky mandate we had in the... Uh, we went for wee Nando's, we we didn't we? We cheeky Nando's together and all the candlelight and all. What day was that? Was it Wednesday? Uh, there's no fuck one of the days on it. Tuesday or Wednesday. I had two Nando's last week. Did Yeah. Because we were talking to Shane about his Crohn's and uh, he's like, you can eat Nando's. Oh, right, okay. <coughs> Yeah, I missed that. Whenever the Friday night came out, I didn't get to the, the Last Supper, as they called it, up in Nando's. Normally there's a, a gathering. Um, I went with my missus before they all got there. Oh, right. Okay. Because I don't... I, neither do you see me in Nando's. Uh-huh. You can't really do that in front of somebody you don't love. No, no. I like, it's... I, I it's Me a, eating the Nando's, because I get a double chicken wrap, extra hot pineapple. Ah. There's a lot of stuff flies out of it. James has seen it, seen it happen. I'm constantly apologising. Especially, and now I've... Like, I can't even lick my fingers. You never apologised like, once to me. I did, I. No, you didn't, because you didn't have to. <laughs> you didn't have to. God bless you. I right, no, if I went here, Colin, well, and you went, shh. <laughs> like that, you put your finger on my lip and all. I have a half, shh, have a half you, chicken to dissect, dissect here, like a fucking you, velociraptor. Do you, want, do you want to share more of that hummus? <laughs> that fucking was lovely. The hummus class, I know. It's a nice bit. Anyway, um, so the, yes, Lavery's in on the so Wednesday. So Lavery's on Wednesday night. Now, and I, you I going out in Paddy's Day? wasn't no? going out in Paddy's Day at all. And Same as myself, I was thinking, I'm not going to go out. Right. Things change, but... So what do you have? So we got to... Went to go to the points. My mate was into the points. Mm-hmm. Right. Got there at one o'clock. Queued right down the street. Oh, no way. I says to herself, fuck the points. I says, I like pints, uh-huh. but I'm not queuing up. And where's the points? It's where Auntie Annie used to be. All right, yeah, yeah. Dublin Road and no, uh, no VIP section. No. Well, what do you hear this here, right? And this is where I thought, here, who the fuck do you think you are, right? To yourself or 
No, 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 oh, no okay. another person. I always say it to myself, like, oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I go, who the fuck do you think you are? And then I instantly go, Mickey fucking Bartlett. Well, that's fucking yeah. excellent response. And then I swing my willy around like a big helicopter, like a Chinook. <laughs> Slap myself in the chin with it. That's why they call it the chin hook. Exactly, yeah. I don't know where you went with it, but I got it. So I went up to this like female, and it was just female doorstep, right? Uh-huh. Now obviously, if you listen to this podcast for a while, you know me and female doorstep rarely see eye to eye. <laughs> hashtag the heart bar, hashtag dancing. I was only a height distance thing, but <coughs> she was a lot shorter than you. That's very true. <laughs> quicker though, quicker <laughs> her feet, quicker on her foot. <laughs> so, mates inside the points. I went up to the bunch. I was like, "Listen, I'm really sorry. My mates are in there. They've got a table. Uh-huh. Could we sneak in?" And she hit me with, "Everybody's mates are in here." <laughs> oh! And I felt like going. Where's all yours then, you loner? Stand there working on oh, Paddy's day. You, you felt like going, but you didn't. I didn't do it. Obviously, no, I didn't. No, no, no. I was because by this stage, I, I was joking for a pint because I woke up and started listening to Wolf Tones. You know how you get in Paddy's day. You know yourself. Like I don't think of myself as an Irish person at all. You know, I believe wholeheartedly that uh, nationality is a trap, mm. and that in fact you should be realize that you're nothing but a speck of dust and you're not here for a long time. Yeah, you're and part want, of a. Want you're part of a cosmic energy yeah. and a pa- You're not a passport. You're not a number. No. You're an entity. You're just an energy floating through. But on on Paddy's day, I'm an entity that loves oh. pints and hates pros. Like up the flak. Oh yo. Jesus Christ, Brits! Oh. It. Uh, I'm only joking. Um, but I did wake up. I was like, Alexa, play the Wolf Tones, and she was like, <laughs> playing fucking how's he? I'm like, fuck you. Come out, Jim. Bl- oh, yeah. I'm like, Alexa, stop being an MI5 agent. Fucking play me some <laughs> raw tunes, boy. <laughs> River dances through the living room. Um, so nice. we ended up going into the Empire because as a professional drinker, I know that students are thick as fuck and try to go to two pubs and parties there. Nobody goes to the Empire. Right? Yes. So go in yes. the Empire. It's just wisdom, Mike. Wisdom and Absolute, experience. Right. Fucking place is empty. Text me, mate. Mate, we're in the Empire. We've got a table. He's like, have you got a table? Is there many there? I'm like, there's fucking loads of tables. We'll be grand, right? Yes. So we get tore into the pints. Oh, nice. Tore into them. Nice. Right? And it hit a point where two things happened. One, one point I got up to go for a pint. Uh-huh. And as I was coming back to my seat, uh-huh. there was a guy trying to chat my girlfriend up. Right? Oh, right, okay. And I went, ha ha, nice try, the kid. <laughs> right? <laughs> he did that? Swear to God. <laughs> right? Because even, wi- even from his body language, now I was across the bar, but I was like, a player knows a player, right? And I found myself thinking... I'd love to know his initial... What was his response? Well, when you hear this, so he's talking to the missus, and she was like, oh, my boyfriend's on his way back, and he's like, yeah, yeah, but... And then he goes, but I play for the Belfast Giants, right? Not making this up. Fuck off! So... No, 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 so, I'm not. Right? Fuck off, so, no. So, you're, you're fucking lying. I swear to God, right? So I, I keep down and I'm like, I'm laughing. I'm going, nice try, man. Right? I understand. I try and pull her too, but I already did pull her. She's back and fuck up, right? And I find myself no, going, the no. balls of him to go, he's gone. Maybe she'll change her mind now. And the, do you know what I mean? Like in the space, oh, like, that's going for a pint, yeah, 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 he's yeah, gone. Yeah, I'll yeah, jump in now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because that's the level of, you know. Yeah, yeah, what he didn't know was one of the girls we were drinking with works at the Belfast Giants. So she was like, what's your name? And he was like, uh, 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 uh. she went, not what number are you? And he was like, uh, 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 uh. oh, I didn't. Yeah, so he wasn't the Belfast Giants. Oh. Um, fuck Now on the way home My girlfriend's like Belfast well, Giants Trying to go with me And I'm like There weren't It was some dude No hold on Listen that has to be Fair play I'm like No but that has to be, That couldn't be a coincidence I don't know It might, it might I don't know, it Couldn't that's what, be Now with pints in me I was like Well done Somebody's fucking Some, has somebody's to be. There's no right. fucking way But then again Could have said you, Clintonville but, Or fucking You know I, what I mean or, I haven't said he, that He was, was definitely he, was unit, was No no he looked more like A player than a fan Right. Not that there's any difference between the players and the fans of Belfast Giants, because there is none at all. Belfast Giants fans are all specimens of health. <laughs> Athletes. And so then Beans. there was, so then the guy moved away. The guy moved away. Uh, we had a laugh, we had a chuckle. We all started wearing Paddy's Day hats. Oh. Shots came out. Oh. And then I had to go and do lavies, right? And I had this argument with my missus, where I was like, I don't think I should do it. I think I'm going to either, either we're going out, or we're not going out, right? And I was like, but I think it's maybe a good idea for me to not do laveries, right? Right. And Mrs. goes, you can't not do laveries. You can't not. Your name's all over the poster. You can't pull out laveries. Yeah, you want to look very unprofessional. Keep the fans happy. And I was like, right, but I'm shit-faced, right? Uh-huh. Do you ever go out with a crowd of people, Connor, and you all have pints, you all having a great time, and you don't think you're steaming until you meet somebody from another group of people? Absolutely. I swear I, to fuck, the five of us were on a different Wi-Fi code than the rest of the bar. I, <laughs> I swear to... I, I, was, yeah, I was on five gigahertz and the rest were on 2.4 uh, on Thursday. We you lost me there, to be honest with you. Is that fungible? There was a, what I'm saying is... There was a group of us on different wa- frequencies. Oh, I, I was oh. BT cell, not they were Vodafone. Yeah, I, you know that's I mean? the one. I, I was on GPRS. Well, fuck Jesus, oh. Right. Not a, I was on E. But then I was, I was, I was also on Paddy's day. Uh, so then what happened was um, 
We went to Larry's. Yes. Right. Now, I got paid a compliment on Friday night. Okay. Now, I will hunt out the footage. Because mm-hmm. I don't remember being on the stage. Oh, Lord. I, I remember bits and pieces about being... There? In Larry's. Oh, fuck. I remember there was a pint of Guinness sitting in the green room. And I went, is that mine? And just took it. Uh-huh. And then I walked out of the green room and my mate handed me a gin because I forgot that I'd swapped on the gin. Excellent. Because I couldn't stomach any more One pints. of those days, yeah. Uh-huh. So then I was standing with a pint of Guinness and the gin. <laughs> And then I, I was like, Colin, can I go up first? Because this is a disaster. <laughs> and I went up. I don't know how long I did. I don't know if it was funny. I know that I came off stage. My girlfriend went, that was fucking shite. I was shite. And I was like, you told me to do it. Oh. Right? But then all the comedians were like, no, nah, it was unbelievable. Aye. And Paddy McDonald said to me on Friday, he goes, here's the thing. He goes, you walked into that green room. And I was like, he can't bite his fucking finger. <laughs> And he goes, and you were blocked. He goes, I'm not saying you weren't. You were definitely steaming. And he goes, but you got up and you were fucking class. And Paddy said he turned to the rest of the comedians and went, none of us could do that. No. Nah. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Then, right? So I finished my set and I was like, I need to get like, fuck out of here. Did he get that footage? That footage, like, and I'll have it, won't they? Nile has it. I've yeah, asked him for it several times now. So I, I will be getting them. We'll put it up on Patreon or somewhere. Oh, I man. can't. I don't know. Did, See, you do, did you do new stuff or was it just you weren't winging it were you uh, <laughs> oh you can't I think it was I don't know well a crowd work or <laughs> just I don't know <laughs> excuse me sorry. I think at one point because <laughs> I know as much as you are uh, known for your your, your libations uh, you How have, dare you? you have you don't normally you would never be drunk uh, on stage um, you normally don't do that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. You have a beer or two beers, or whatever, and you might pretend to right. be drunk. But I've never actually. I think I might have seen you one time actually steaming on stage. Like I've got drunk during a gig of I'm saying. Yeah, as, as time went on, but, but I've never but seen I'm you like, turning turn up blocked. Like, like no, fuck me. No, never happened. Who do you think I'm a pilot? <laughs> uh, so we ended up then. My, so I'm just gonna apply my moisturizer. I swear to God, I'm fucking. Just put, take me out the back and shoot me. This is. I'm. Just, it's getting to that point now where I'm thinking, how am I? How the fuck am I the healthy one? I know. Where, where does that equation come into play? How is that? It's the difference between weed and booze. <laughs> Ta-da! Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. <laughs> Guinness is good for you. Is it fuck? <laughs> uh, Do not. So then yeah, we had a point where um, everybody was shit-faced and I couldn't hang around to watch the rest of the comedians because we were getting the train back to Lurgan. Oh, right, okay. So you so didn't stay in the end? Didn't get stay in the end. Right, okay. Uh, so that was I, a Thursday night? That was Thursday night. Yeah, because you we, were due to Wednesday, or the Friday night as well. Yeah, well, we didn't hear this, though. I haven't even finished Thursday night. fucking Thursday is. So, me and my good lady go to the train station, right? Uh-huh. And uh, I was like, I'm going to smoke a fag. <laughs> I'm going to smoke a fag. Of course, yeah. But I was so drunk, I couldn't find my lighter. <laughs> so I was like, excuse me, does anybody have a lighter? <laughs> On the uh-huh. right. And a guy who was at the train station was like, for Mickey Bartlett, I'll fucking find you a lighter. And oh, I was like, fuck. that's right, boy. <laughs> and he was like, Zay, my God, later. <laughs> it was later. Later. So a guy from the other side of the tracks, and I don't mean a Protestant, I mean <laughs> the other side of the tracks, <laughs> went to throw his lighter across the tracks, right? But he threw it too high and it landed on the roof. Oh. The train tech, right? So we were all, ah, thanks for trying, mate, whatever. And he went, I've got another one. So then he threw the lighter across. This dude catches the letter, right? Uh-huh. Brings me the letter. There right. you go, Mr. Barton. I said, thank you, boy. Right. <laughs> Come over here and shave me. Right. So, <laughs> so I have a wee smoke. Lovely time. The letter goes back. Then the man who retrieved the letter, right, uh-huh. decides that it's only polite and proper that he repairs the man who threw the letter with a bit of pizza, right? As you do. So we jumped on the track. Uh, that's, 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 that, that is currency in Lurgan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is still in Belfast. Oh, you're still in Belfast? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I don't know if those boys are going to Lurgan. Oh, right, the okay. train stopped at Hilden and everything. Oh, just uh, yeah, it was one of the, No, it was one of them ones. I, oh. Moira, Lurgan, oh. Portadown. Like, <laughs> Derriaki, Bellarina. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Helen's Bay. Um, so he walks across the track. Go, okay. go, there's a bit of pizza. Then he gets back onto our side of the track and threw his empty pizza box on the tracks, right? And then two... Security guards from NI Railways, right? Uh-huh. Who, what's a nice way to put this, looked like to support the Belfast Giants, came down to throw the guy out, right? No, it looked like me and you, right? Right, okay. But imagine me and you after a big feed. When you have a big feed and you do that weird... Oh, the belly's out. Like, you get, like your back uh, bends inward. Uh, Fucking, I'd like to fuck, right? It's just to ease, it's just to ease the pressure of the belt buckle and yeah, the belly. Yeah, just exactly. And plus, belly, you're belly, all belly. full of wind, so you need a big burp. Aye. But you're all stuck. 
Yeah. Right? Know it. So these two fellas from down to throw this young, and he's a pretty young guy, right? Go to throw him out. And he left without without argument. He was like, fair enough, got to, you know, I've took it too far, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then a couple of seconds go by, say, maybe maybe five minutes. Uh-huh. And this guy just comes fucking lamping through with Alex <laughs> with two security guards. <laughs> Chasing after him, right? <laughs> and everybody went, yeah. <coughs> and then he kept running towards the tracks. And as he was running towards the tracks, we all realized this train's getting the lead because of this comp. And I heard a you <coughs> with a like like a celebration <laughs> to annoyed. It went, I guess, you <laughs> like you. Oh. oh fuck. And uh just disappeared into the night. Gone. Cops arrived trying to find him, and everybody was like, this train's getting the lead. Over a fucking lighter yeah. from And the Martin. whole time my girlfriend was like, it's your fucking fault. I was like, I really feel like it's my fault. <laughs> but it wasn't. I mean, he, he walked across the tracks like, <laughs> but it is your fault. <coughs> you couldn't wait for a fight to get off the train. Are you even allowed to smoke on the platform? Nobody give a fuck with Paddy. Paddy, Paddy you can walk on the tracks. Paddy's there. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to smoke on the platform. Nobody give a fuck. <laughs> well, but it was outside, so it doesn't matter. And there was nobody about that didn't really care. Let me see if Paddy's I get fucking fine now from smoking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, where's this easy to be of that? I don't know, man. I uh, don't work for any real estate. No, uh, yeah, <laughs> Comedian? Have you, have you requested it yet? No. No, 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 no. You really I should. didn't want to contact them. We all here. Can yeah. I have the CCTV? And then be all here. Oh, was that you smoking there? In the green fucking oh, you just top hat? Whole, you just give it all away there. In your green top hat. Here, not to blend it in like a really green. <laughs> green. <laughs> I mean. Is that you there in the balaclava and the cape? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You seem to have a bucket of snacks and a St. Patrick outfit on you. <laughs> Square beard you got. Thank you. Uh, right, so then... Uh, so that was my Paddy's Day. That was Paddy's Day. I, no, I had the same, similar experience that I was... Well, I, I didn't have plans to go out. Uh-huh. But I also knew I'd sort of... You know you, you know when you have that feeling you built the brownie points up? Aye. You know, Take a wee and, a wee, and there's a wee... So I had to speak to my side bitch, Roni. <laughs> and I know I'm sorry. Because you, you live in Lurgan now and you can't come to the You tell me you went out on Paddy's Day uh-huh. with Roni. So, no, there was a heap of stout ticket. I know, it's nice you call him Rona. I call him Rona because he's a fucking virus. <laughs> Spreads easily. Uh, I Wrecks a household. <laughs> <laughs> so we went. Fucking shit, where did you just go? We so went. Did you Mc- think of me at all? I did, actually. Even once? When it was McCann's and the pints were so delicious, I thought, the fuck, part of it, love these. I think he would actually be salivating. Just and I, it, uh, you know, oh, that and sounds it's the sound of my heart breaking. <laughs> That's the best I could do out of the, the options we have there. Oh, <laughs> no, nope. it's sad. No. It's not that kind of sad. It's not that kind of sad. No, it's uh, it's it's just there's nothing there, Mike, for you. No, nope. I'm sorry. There's oh, no, oh, oh, you fucked Done it wrong. Yeah. What the fuck? Right, go back to the start. Say the side bitch thing. So on Paddy's Day, then I went out with my side bitch. Who's your side bitch? Ronnie. From what the fuck? From Best of the Best podcast. What? What the fuck? Smoke weed every day. So, there was a lot of that. Now, I had uh, said that would have been a good fucking session too, because Ronnie can put them away. Ronnie can sup, and uh, we ended up with a group of ones who can also sup as you were talking and about. And you know something else? It's, it's important as well that supping is only when you're drinking stout. Yes. Because yeah. is there anything better than when all of you, another round comes down and you're still talking, you don't even look, you just pick a pint up and you neck half of it. You don't even have to look and see, there's no, Fuck, there's there's no nothing better. Like. between who, who's going for that, that just, it, uh, just everybody you would look and go, that one's near empty, reload, reload. Oh, fuck, I love galore. it. Horses were on and there was races happening and, uh. I mean, that's the first Paddy's Day anybody's been out. It's been a while, yeah. It's Actually, the first Paddy's yeah. Day I've been out in seven years. Was that right? <coughs> it might be maybe well, I might be, you count lockdown. I think it might be three or four for me. Um, but so it was one of those ones where uh, the bar is so small. I, don't, I, I would say like fifty people, and it is fucking Aye. packed. So the doors were closed from maybe three or four in the afternoon. There was no way of anybody else getting in. So the the session was on the corner. The fucking trad music. Yeah, uh-huh, and then the horses were on, and there was pints and pints. And I had been fucking about in horses all week and tell them just for the crack, just a wee small foot three wee bits, and uh, wee flutter, wee flutter, and uh, got a couple of wee seconds and all that sort of crack. You know, I was getting uh, money, yeah, yeah. the money back job. You know, Get like, oh, oh, fuck right. me, I love Ireland. By the time half five came, Mac, uh-huh. and on pint number nine, there was a horse running called Co- Cool Cody, and I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna go on for twenty five to one. Now, I had normally been putting like wee 1.50 bets or 2 pound bets. Uh-huh. And I decided to put a tenner each way in it. Uh-huh. And the fucker won a 25 to 1. 
325 fucking in hell. my pocket for the day's pints and I was fucking Rockefeller at the end of the bar Rockefeller buy a drink for that whole the group I'm with here you know them just Aye. Uh, not them two just at the back two here, pints just, these, just, just two pints again sir see to, him again Jerry actually just one for me and one for you, you know, I'll just that. but I got I, you know not even the one uh, get a bag of nuts to treat myself and do you know, the, fries, you know, do, do you know this has not happened to you yet because you're not um, cohabiting as of yet? No. No. So. Nor will I. My fall own, my own a, fall a stout, right? Uh. Fall a stout. Coming home, my ma came and left me. Now, my mommy came and left me. With 40. A, uh, <laughs> with uh, a Giuseppe's pizza <gasps> and a thing of garlic bread home to the missus thinking, I am fucking going to treat you. Now, apparently, I don't, I don't remember eating the pizza, but... The next morning, the three hundred and twenty pound I had was now allegedly volunteered by myself towards a paneling fucking operation that's going on in the hallway for decorating. And the thing is, Mike, this is the problem when you're married, right, and you're steaming, and anybody listening to this, be be prepared for this. Maybe record the conversations. It sounds like something I would fucking do when I'm aye, drunk. Aye. You know what? I I'll pay for that. But then I also know that's not something I would do. Do you know what the thing but about she, it is? She knows that I would think it might be something I would do, so she. No, but made that but there's also up. I think there's and this might, might sound this isn't this is not misogynist. This is just this is just whenever you're in a relationship with a woman, mm-hmm. you do something when you're drunk, yeah, thinking you're going to get brownie points when you're sober, and in actual fact, all it's doing is buying you forgiveness for being drunk. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're probably thinking to yourself, I'll give her this here, and in the morning she let me lie on, I'll probably wake up with a big suck job or something. And in actual fact, no, she's like, you were pissed last night, I give me that. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm going to have to be very honest with you here, uh, Michael. Um, that would not happen regardless. Suck job in the morning? Afternoon, evening. You know, it, it mm. would be... Suck job in the morning is like a Bob Dylan song. Should be, actually, yeah. The suck job in the morning. Suck job in the night. So hard Spunk to get. rolling down my chin. <laughs> Everything's all right. <laughs> oh, if only. But yeah, no. So, do you know that uh, Bob, Dylan, Bob Dylan actually wrote a song for uh, for Fife, the fruit company? Is that right? Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Mr. Tangerine Man. <laughs> Play a song for me. <laughs> that is. Top there was also the limes they are changing. There's another one. <laughs> I'm out. I only know two. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Do you know he actually opened a sandwich shop called Bob Fillon? <laughs> oh, that's enough, man. Do you know people call him because. No. no, it doesn't matter. No. Bob Spillon. 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 It's Parkinson's. He doesn't have Parkinson's. Man. Egg ice cream parlor with a rolling cone. No. That's like a Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Rolling Stone. Oh, why, yeah? No, to, to, if you have to. I was like, Rolling like, Stone's a different band, back head. His <laughs> 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 biggest, mo- probably, well, voted by Rolling Stone magazine. No, of course they had vote for that. As the number one song of all time. What the fuck do I know about music? Wild Are they on TikTok? Wild no. Tune. Wild Tune. I, um, have I mentioned I've been watching a Vietnam War documentary? <laughs> I did four I times did last week. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't stop listening to Vietnam music. Oh, Volunteers for America. Yeah, I'm in the house, like, <laughs> down, bear down. Did, I tell you, did you go and listen to John Fogarty? I told you to go and listen to that. And you no, just, I didn't. Go, that's uh, not the way home. I haven't, had, I haven't had a minute yet. I've downloaded, I downloaded an old book there on Audible. Oh, Audio books for you. Oh, I. Uh, and uh, I'm going to start listening to books because I couldn't be fucking looking at them. Well, why, uh, <laughs> why not join your... <laughs> join your local library? Yes. Can you do that? Wait, somebody just reads it to you? Right, chapter one. No. So okay. If you okay, here we go now. Chapter one. This is Harry Potter, sir. Now, Did don't, you pretend, just don't pretend the priest <laughs> I'm reading this here to you now, sir, because it's the devil's work. Imagine Chapter that. one. Harry's mommy and daddy was killed by sad. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking deadly would that be if you read Harry Potter as Daniel Donald? That wouldn't be good that at all, man. That would be fucking hilarious. Expelliarmus, you just as me, well. <laughs> But I mean, imagine but Daniel O'Donnell trying to do the voices from the characters. <laughs> and then comes Hagrid, this big keg anyway. And he says, oh, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I can't do accents. <laughs> Only knew the one now. <laughs> <laughs> and then Snape comes in. And he's all, Mr. Potter. That's not bad, actually. It's all right. That's all right. Rickman's getting better when I'm working on it. Rickman's all right now, but... Mr. Takagi. I was going to say, it only usually works with diehard stuff. 
You it haven't moved around other films yet. You haven't got to Robin Hood yet, which is oh, yeah, yeah. his best movie. I'm going to cut your heart out <laughs> with a spoon. <laughs> no, that wasn't Dalek. I was not who that was there. Um, no, uh, what I said was join your local library. Mr. Luxley. <laughs> Luxley. It has to be Mr. Somebody, so it, it has to be Mr. Um, no, the, uh, when you join your local library, this is a fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, all audiobooks are free. But how many do they have? Do they have as many as Audible audiobooks for you? You basically have every audiobook from Audible on your library. So how much did you pay for that one? Oh, they give me two free credits a month, so I don't pay anything for it. Oh, two a month? Yeah, well, you, you know library's free. But no, I didn't know, actually. Yeah. Well, e-books, no, but they have... And your magazines and all but that. They have, no, but they have some of the... Th- like Everything. The Truth About Dr. Fauci. They have that yeah. one. Well, is that a book? It's on Amazon. I was going to get it, but then I didn't know if the track was. Oh, so uh, you don't, don't do that. Mm. They have... Oh, seriously, that's a great service. Uh, for people, if you're mm. listening and you uh, don't like paying for things like me, uh, <laughs> Audible, uh, all that stuff's available in your library. Just to rejoin. All that kind yeah, of we're stuff. so hip on this podcast. Do you know what else you could do? You join your local swimming baths Aye. and go for a dup. We paddle. Is oh. there a pool in Oma? Of course there is. Yeah. Shade like what's pool? There's a boat. There's a boat in lake. Was there a boat in lake? Yeah. Never been a boat on it, like, but there's a boat in lake. Oh, well, that seems like Gavin. No. So oh. The boats are made mainly of trolleys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible sad scene. We just closed down the shopping centre. It's awful. Awful. Um, so, yes, we got Paddy Lee's... I can't pa- now go, Heather, to give him, I wouldn't give him that. Tell me this, on Friday morning after Paddy's day, were you, <laughs> were you uh, fucking, were you dying? Uh, see, I done, the, see I done the good thing, Mike. Here's the thing. I was home with that pizza at nine o'clock. See, no, I, we, I, 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 but... I'd early home early. I, no, we were aiming for that, but obviously fucking Linford Christie ran down the tracks. <laughs> oh, you didn't go after that again, though? No? I you. did have two whiskeys go back to uh, you see. But here, do you know what I did? Do you remember the, remember the bourbon that I bought that was always his class? It was lovely. Uh, I had two of them, stinking. Absolutely uh, rotten. Oh, fuck. Lovely for an old fashioned, but on its own, I was like... <laughs> oh, right, okay. I, um, so I had two of them. And the next morning, my girlfriend was like, did you stay up drinking by yourself? And I was like, no, I got in the bed beside you five minutes after you went to bed. And she was like, did you? <laughs> so she was as pissed as I was. Oh, happy days. Uh, and then I lay about all day Friday. And then, obviously, yes, went up to Lavery's then. Went to Lavery's. I booked myself a lovely night away in the Europa. Of course you did. Because uh, I thought I was gigging. You were supposed to be on that supposed night. Supposed to be on that night. Now, there's some, there was a bit of a substitution scenario there, was there? there uh, there's got some fellow on called Kevin Hart. Oh, aye. And he's got nothing to do with throwing football. Well, they tell you that was made asses of now. Had it been Mickey Hart, I would have been uh, impressed. Like uh, if it had been Tony Hart, <laughs> and I went, I can't can draw more than a bath. <laughs> you can draw a crowd, you can draw fucking anything. That's a niche fucking Tony Hart. Had it been one, Melissa Joan Hart? Oh, uh, Jesus, eh? Clarissa explains it all. Oh, fuck. Sabrina? Some of the talking pussies. Talking pussies? Is that another... What? Anyway, you got it. Sorry. What's talking pussy? No cat that talks and Sabrina. Oh, right. I thought it was some sort of feminist podcast. It is, I. But there's also about Sabrina great name for feminist voice. Yeah. <laughs> a misogynist podcast with talking blorts. <laughs> blorts. Welcome to talking blorts. <laughs> Yesterday I saw one with the flaps on the outside. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. Uh, a lot of our patrons have sent in questions. Um, so we'll, we'll cover it in the bonus questions about Mr. Hart's. But what happens? Why do you make yeah. us go back to there? Um, fuck, this only been well, forty minutes. This cold's killing me. I swear <laughs> to fuck. <laughs> we'll go back to that. But on so we like it was um, it was a weird weekend because we uh, obviously every comedian that you could See, think of was there. Um, yeah. Now that that became uh, it was a lovely night. Yes. Because all the comedians were together, and mm-hmm. I says to myself, "Do you know this is? I'm, I'm kind of glad it happened because I thought this is what my funeral's going to be like." <laughs> But obviously no, I'll miss me on funeral. Won't because we'll, well, we'll, we'll talk in the bonus episode about why it won't be the same because we won't be spending that much money on you. But, uh... <laughs> what do, you mean, do you pay for the ticket? <laughs> pay for free? No, I didn't Write mean that. Jokes, I, bitch. Meant, <laughs> I meant the green room, bitch. <laughs> I mean the refreshments. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, it was a weird one because they, they we knew it was happening, but they announced that But they, me, you, me, you knew, you knew before I knew. I knew by accident. I. And that was just by pure fluke because Geddes got the phone call just as he was coming into Daly's the night he was supposed to be on. And uh, I've never seen Geddes. He had only made his grave. He looked like Father Dougal. You know, a bewildered look. And he was like, and I said, what's wrong? He went, you're not going to believe the fucking phone call I just had. And I was like, what? He goes, you know the Lavery's Paddy's Day thing? I was like, aye. He goes, see the 18th? Aye. Kevin fucking Hart. I said, get the fuck out. Uh, and that was it. And then he, like, he did a show, but the whole night he was just, you could just see him in a wee zone. Aye. 
And then uh, about an hour or so after the show was over, he texted me, goes, oh, oh, fuck, by the way, I've just found out nobody's supposed to know. Please don't tell nobody. So that's why I couldn't. Aye, because he had, he had told me in Lavery's. So yeah. I was emceeing. Maybe the week, a couple of, if that was the Friday, it must have been the Wednesday. must have been the Wednesday, yeah. Um, and he goes, here, what are you doing the 18th? And I was like, I'd probably just die on Paddy's there. And he went, cancel all your plans. Yeah. Uh, now, here's the problem, right? So I'm getting a lot of shit from family and people I know were going, thanks for the heads up. I never, like, McKegney said Until the well, man walked on the stage, I didn't think he was going to be there. This is the thing. If you think of it, have you ever, have you ever seen the movie Commitments? Ah, you've seen it? Yeah. So the Wilson Pickett thing about, is he going to turn up? And is he not? You know, and, and I, like, always oh, promised to turn up. He's going to do it, but he's not going to. So the, I, had, I had such a problem going, well, I couldn't, I can't tell nobody, because he told me not to tell nobody. And I also can't, Force people from home to go and buy tickets for Aye. comedy club on Friday night. No disrespect to yourself and Patty and shit, you know what I mean? Aye. But to go up the road and maybe nothing happening. So, but now part of me was like, I wouldn't say nothing now. Do you know what I mean? Uh, how would you know what I mean? My dad's funny too. Like. <laughs> you couldn't have, I couldn't have pushed it. Uh, or I had the same, where like so. I had, I, what I thought was funny was that so on, on the night itself, Jordan was like, Oh, I found out at Dailies as well. So none of the comedians told each other yeah. because we were all afraid it wouldn't happen. I feel it was a weird happen, situation yeah. where it was like, if we start telling people this is going on, then it doesn't happen. What the fuck? We're going to feel stupid yeah. and feel all sad. And it would have been very, and I, like, I mean, <coughs> like, even forget us, like, if he had seen me and all my family and all my friends from they had got tickets for Lavery's, they would have known right. Like, no also, way on seen. top of that, see, whenever you bring people with you to a gig, the amount of times that they go, well, we're with him, we can do whatever the fuck we want, Aye, and then no. you look like a ball bag. No. I never bring anybody to gigs anymore. No, like, not allowed. Not allowed. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was a weird, so we knew it was happening, but the, the, the announcement then, the, uh, the Saturday night gig in Limelight. And, uh, I mean, I did have to laugh at some of the comments about it was a fix. It was hilarious. It was. So here's the here's the, the lowdown, the skinny on it, because we got the stats from, from Shane themselves. Aye. So there was 100 tickets, did you 100 say? tickets. So it was Line Night 1, or Line, Line Night 2. 2. It wasn't even the big one, it was a small one. They had 180,000 ticket requests Dang. at 2 o'clock on that day. That's one-tenth of the population of the country. 180,000 for 100 tickets, and people are going, it's a fix. That's you know, great. you might as well you know, do I, the fucking lottery. I felt bad for, like, Shane and Geddes, like, posting photos up of, like, oh, you know, got the share of stage with Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. And people going, what about the people who didn't get tickets? Are you thinking about us? And I'm going, you won't even let them two fellas bask in the glory of that. Yeah. Part of me was like, what about the comedians who didn't get to go on? We thought <laughs> yeah. they were. Up until Wednesday. <laughs> Paddy McDonald, Paddy said to me, he goes, I'm going on. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, I don't give a fuck, I'm going on. He goes, when he goes off, even if everybody leaves, go and take a photograph of me so I can say I was no. on. <laughs> Uh, so yeah it was, G- it was on the Wednesday night I, so I thought I was on on the Friday as well yeah. and they were sitting backstage at the library saying what's the crack of Wednesday and he was like it's just me and Shane on Friday you mean? on Friday yeah. yeah it was just me and Shane I was like what, what you, what's the crack and he went well Shane's on the same sort of management circle mm-hmm. so there's something to do with that so and he went Kevin Hart's management one like fucking two ten minutes and then straight away him no break whatever and I the only time in my life I literally went like that <laughs> Oh. I couldn't even help it. <laughs> Here, we have the sound effect for it. Are you ready for it? It's too late now. So, and we'll do it again. Go. No, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. I know. <laughs> Fuck the sound effect. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to fucking have to make light of my trauma. I was like this. <laughs> uh, Shattered your dreams. So, um... But it was a great night. It was a fucking absolute belt overnight it just was, for everybody was, to be together. Do you know what? It felt like a staff night out. Yeah. Um, I know there were some, some acts that weren't there or whatever, but the vast majority were there. And uh, it was lovely. It was, it, was, it was great to see it. I mean, it was very fucking strict um, in regards to videos and, and f- photos and stuff. But we'll talk about that. And, uh, yeah, we'll but, talk about that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was nice. So um, I love how we were doing that. We're so fucking stingy now. We're like, if you want to hear more, aye, well, fuck give it. us four pounds. No, well, do you know what the problem is? It's just we're going to end up having two episodes of the same thing. Because every question, we've read the questions already, and every one of them is about fucking Kevin Hart. So aye. rather than doing a double episode of it. Um, but yeah, so I mean, then uh, you went to Saturday. I didn't go up to Saturday night, but you went up to Saturday then. Um, all the... the <laughs> We should have a sound effect to cover the the blowing of the nose. That'd be wide rough and nice skin. That's sore, like I, I thought it was that's, a softer. Um, no, that's kitchen roll stuff, huh? Kitchen roll's better for you. Was it? Weirdly, somebody told me this that um, it does somehow cause less irritation because the irritation comes from using wet tissue in your nose. So okay. although that's rough, it doesn't inflame your nostrils as much it's, I, I'm saying not there you know what I mean when you've talked as much fucking ching as I have over the years well, so I'm telling you boys you, I'm fucking lucky even have a nose sir the amount of gear I've took 
Ah, oh, fuck, they call me Lurgan's Tony Montana. <laughs> First you get the money, then you get the power, <laughs> then you get the women. Uh, the amount of fucking... All my notes need ironed. <laughs> fucking, I one time... You know you're taking too much coke when you try to sniff it off your contactless payments? <laughs> That's how you know you've talked too much of it. I can't get near McDonald's. Oh, Jesus. I said, do you want to drink with it? And I say, aye. And they go, what would you like? And I go, coke. And they hand me out a fucking cool beverage. And I think, just lie in bath. Just... <coughs> so... Fucking, I can't get near here. <laughs> that place, Coke, in Ireland. <laughs> what do you call it? Coke. Coke. Coke, ah, this please, if you have it. <laughs> ah, don't, I don't even fucking chat to me. I'm with my dyslexia, too. Is oh. he trying to order MDMA? <laughs> fucking nightmare, sir. Can't, uh. get, can't get near Vietnam, because all the Charlie. <laughs> I'm gonna see what else can I do because of cocaine. Um, Lose weight. No, get, I don't. I don't take coke. Uh, in direction. Yep. Yeah, that, that is very true. Mm. Uh, whoever says coke is good for sexual activity is lying to you. I think Tommy Tiernan covered it once. All right. Cocaine. You like you'll absolutely have no idea. You can't get a hard on, but you're like, I'll find something to ride you with. <laughs> you get very creative. Yeah. <laughs> Slapping the the funny one nine iron. <laughs> Uh, what were we talking about there before I started pretending I'm a drug addict? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was going to say, you, you make yourself sound like a, an awful uh, coke, Badass coke, eye. coke fiend. Gangster? No. No, that's not really what I want. Rock and roll. Re- rebel? No. Ne'er do well? Ah. A maverick? Ah. A f- fucking rolling stone? That's me. Just see wherever I lay my nostrils. That's my pillow. Ah. Or a slobber? Whoa. Slabber? I, was like slabber. Oh, I thought you said slabber, and then I was like, here, we all have a youth. <laughs> it's just that my youth is locked up in the garage. <laughs> I am so fucking sick, I swear to God. It's just a cold, and I feel like I've been hit by a fucking train. When did you last test yourself? This morning before the house. See, I fucking see, I swear to God. Oh, well, right. sorry, if you get COVID off me. I, I know, but it's not, oh, it's I'm not like... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry if you It's not get. like FIFA. We're not like passing it back and forth to see who wins next. I mean, it's fucking... We have been passing this on for fucking... Hey, you fucking rubbed your COVID sweaty forehead on my fucking lip. Ah, but you liked it. No, it did not. Oh, did you? Oh. Of course it didn't. Fuck you, face it as well. No, it looked like you did. I was, I was keeping up appearances for the people at oh, home. For the, people. for the pen public. Ha 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 ha. Connor, are you scared to you? Inside, I was going to see if I die. Because you're diseased out of fucking sweat, sir. <laughs> I think we're going to be all right. We'll survive. And you're, you're, you're see, do, you're why are you saying, now you're going to jinx it, now I'm going to wake up dead in the morning? Why can you wake up dead? Reincarnation, man. All right. Okay. okay. Do you ever read The Art of War by Sun Tzu? <laughs> the two of them? <laughs> the sons of Zoo. <laughs> I watched a <laughs> fuck. I, I was going to say I watched a weird thing called Upload on Amazon there, which is very strange. That when you die, your is that like is. Altered Carbon? I don't you know. You ever see that series? The Altered Carbon is one of those series where it's like um. So you live in this. Basically, you're an AI after. You're oh, see, they do it. They have a thing where you, you, all your memories and stuff are on these wee chips in the back of your head. Right. And when you die, they put it in a new body. Oh fuck no! no this but is the whole series is about how rich people get these class bodies, and then poor people. All oh, right, okay, I like that. So at the start of it, they're in the like the altered carbon. It's very total recally. Right. But um, this guy's walking around the, like the medical center, and this like really really old woman comes out, and she's like, "Mommy, Daddy, what what happened?" And she's like, "She's seven, but because they're broke, <laughs> the best they can give her is an old Chinese woman." <laughs> it's dark. This is, uh, this, is uh, this is this is a lighter version of that. By the way, that's sorry, that's a I would recommend segment. Fresh. I don't know if you've seen Fresh. It was Sebastian no. Stan. Very, very, very good? intense. Very weird. Very good movie. Nice. Good on that. Um, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump on to questions now because I need to get a bowl of soup in the world. <coughs> oh. <coughs> chicken soup for the soul. Oh, chicken soup for the whole boy. Um, yeah, so thank you to everybody. Thank you to our patrons and uh, to our new patrons, but to our existing patrons, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you're very, and for very those of you listening to this free two weeks in the future, if I'm still alive, send me a message. Yeah, come see me do shows or something. I come and listen live. Come listen this week. Hi, morning. By the time you hear our. Uh, oh, by the time you hear the Kevin Hart stories, everybody else will have told them. Too late. Oh, well. And why? Who gives a fuck? Like Let's dead. go home and take some beachums. Wee-o! Cheerio, bye-bye!
What's up, motherfuckers?